Even though I feel sad, but I don't think that this is a sad movement and there is no time for sadness. Um, you know, there's this weird combination of of horror and sadness uh, at what's happening in Iran. At the same time, inspiration and exhilaration at the mm. strength and nature of these, especially the young folks who are out there defying a regime that they were born into. Um, t- tell me about that. How do you navigate those those two feelings? Well, well uh, even though I feel sad, but I don't think that this is a sad movement and there is no time for sadness. I, you asked me for my honest feeling, I just um, uh, told you. But I don't think people are sad that much. We, 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 I mean, I'm sad and lots of people are sad because of um, uh, all the people that uh, got killed on the streets and all our uh, you know, sisters, mothers and brothers and, and all those people. I mean, it, it, one, one killing is one too many. And um, that that's the sad part. But there is uh, there's a hope in what we see um, right now on the streets of um, everywhere in, in Iran. And uh, that is that the nation in Middle East are rising um, to defend the women in Iran. And uh, if, if this succeed, if this movement succeed, we would be the first nation in Middle East that um, uh, Rise for a very very progressive cause, mm. and I'm and I'm I'm at the same time at the same time of that sadness that I was talking about. I'm very proud um, uh, to 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 be Iranian these days.